What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. Is it just me or Nick Walker's upper body seems to be progressing faster than his lower body? It might be the angle, but if we judge Nick's physique by these photos, those crazy arms are making his legs appear smaller. But that's not what his coach thinks. According to him, Nick's quads are up three-fourths of an inch and waist is down one-third of an inch in the last 10 weeks. After the Olympia, Nick said that he is focused on bringing up his quads a lot more. And it makes total sense because the guy Nick is chasing is Big Ramy, who has the biggest legs probably in the history of bodybuilding. Nick also posted a back double biceps and this might be a response to Fwad. If you follow the podcast, then you know what I'm talking about. Condition-wise, it is crazy how dry Nick remains in the off-season. At 5'7", this is him weighing 290 pounds. Eagerly waiting for the star-studded guest posing at Pittsburgh Pro, in less than two weeks time. Next up is Regan Grimes' recent guest posing six weeks after his last contest, Boston Pro. Mostly he has been chilling, enjoying this phase of training before the prep starts for the Olympia. Looking at his guest posing physique, Regan needs a lot more size to be competitive. His physique flows very well, but the lack of size is evident here even when he is posing alone. Those arms need to come up big time if he wants to be a top 5 Olympia competitor in the future. As a competitive bodybuilder, we all know Regan likes to compete more. But if your goal is to be Mr. Olympia one day, and you have already qualified for next year's Olympia, then doing the Arnold Classic and Boston wasn't a great decision in my opinion. All that prep time could have been utilized to get more size because even his coach Milos admits that in size department, Regan is not competitive with the top guys. All the best Regan for the offseason ahead, Hopefully, he brings a physique worthy of placing top 10 at the Olympia this year. Samson is definitely going into his prime years now. Those are incredible genetics. And even though he is now enjoying all the food, he is off all supplements for the next six weeks for the purpose of cleaning out. He still looks so damn impressive. And he didn't achieve this success overnight. Most of the people do not know that Samson made his pro debut in 2018. It took him two years to win his first pro show and now he's finally going to the Olympia. Finally, we get a physique update from the beast Akeem Williams. I was hoping maybe Akeem would surprise us all and jump into the New York Pro at the last minute. But judging by his current condition, New York Pro is out of question. He won Puerto Rico Pro last year and considering there is still 8 weeks to go for that show, from this point onwards, Akeem might do it this year again. 2021 was not a good year for Akeem. 5th place at the Arnold Classic and ninth place at the Olympia wasn't what Akeem was aiming for. 
We would all like to see him in 2020 condition again. That was a good package overall. Got a new Brian Jones update for you guys. Weighing over 245 pounds and look at the size of that waist. Switching to open was definitely a great decision by him. And Brian isn't looking to rush into the competition. The last time I checked, he was pretty clear that he will make his open bodybuilding debut this year. So plenty of time to focus on those quads because that is his biggest weakness. For the record, Brian had already made up his mind that he would go to open bodybuilding no matter where he places in classic physique in 2021. And his placing did decline. He went from 5th place in 2020 to ninth place in 2021. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.